gosh, it has been so long since I vlogged. Well, it's really only been like a week, but that is forever, <laughs> forever. And I have so much to update you on. So thinking I'm gonna do a life update vlog. Don't even mind, like I'm sure there's so much mess in the background. Just don't mind it. The first update that I have is about Coltrane. Oh, hold on, I gotta make sure this looks like it seems so. Make sure I'm in, okay, good. You know, Coltrane is my dog. Uh, he's the little schnauzer dog that you see in my vlogs. And a, uh, I don't know, like almost a week ago, he started limping. And y'all know that we've been like building. Oof, we don't want all the dishes. But y'all know that we've been building a lot and been doing a lot of like projects and so when he was limping I thought well maybe he stepped on a nail or got a splinter in his foot or whatever because he wasn't like limping all the time he was just kind of like eh, eh. and then he was cool so I was like oh well you know maybe he stepped on something um so I told Adam I was like can you look at his foot so we're holding him, we're like squeezing his foot, looking, not yelping, nothing, whatever. I put him back down, he's walking fine. A few days later, he starts limping again. And so I'm like, okay, we need to look. Maybe it's toenail or something. So we're looking, he has all his toenails. Again, no splinter, squeezing his leg, everything. Um, and so I'm like, well, let me look. And I look and he has this huge, like boil cyst thing, like that big on the inside of his thigh, on the leg that he was limping on. So I was like, maybe that is what's making him limp. We decide we're gonna be grade F uh, surgeons and we're gonna pop this thing. Uh, I think that was Sunday night. Sunday night, we have him like sprawled out on the bed and I have all my surgery utensils, a needle and tweezers and cuticle scissors. And so I take the lighter and we light the needle to sanitize it and I start going to town on this thing and it takes like an hour but we popped it and all this nastiness came out and I put peroxide on it and the next day he's walking on it fine so I'm like oh that must have been it and then like a few days later like Wednesday he started limping again and I'm like holy crap what is wrong with this dog like what what's the deal so I talked to my boss who works in the medical field and she's like really you're not supposed to pop those things you're supposed to let them just kind of like go down on their own so I was like crap I killed him he's gonna get cellulitis and he's gonna have to have his leg amputated and she's like no just calm down calm down just keep putting peroxide on it and it should get better so I've been putting peroxide on it two times a day and it seems to be getting better he's not like when he was first limping, his leg was like all the way up and now he just has it like a little up and he'll stand on it some while he's eating and while he's just standing. He's improving, so I will keep you updated on that. Second thing that I need to talk to you about are the benches got built for the farm table. So here they are. Um, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I stained the tops of them um, in the same color that I did the table. Um, but I stained them and I put two coats of poly on them. I think they're going to need another coat, but I'm not quite sure. And then I'm going to be painting them to match the table. The table still needs another coat of white on it. And we have just run into so many hiccups with this facelift 2018 project that we decided to do on our house. And... It's just been hiccup after hiccup, and ooh, I gotta go. So I gotta go run by Duncan on my way to work. I'll go to the car. Let me get to the car. I'll see you in the car, and I'll uh, keep updating you. All right, so I'm in my car now. Headed to Duncan, you know. Back to my life update. I don't really listen to podcasts. Like, I don't really ever listen to podcasts. Um, Adam was always like, ooh, podcast, audiobooks, awesome. And I'm just like, whatever so I recently got in to podcast because um, just by you know recommendation usually I like to listen to like pastors on podcasts um, that I don't sit under so I'm on Twitter the other day and my girl Casey Holmes which you may not know but Casey Holmes is a beauty vlogger beauty guru slash she also does like normal vlogs too 
and she's from Atlanta and I'm from Atlanta and so uh, yeah anyway so she posted on Twitter like a week or so ago uh, any suggestions for new podcast I just finished up and vanished and I need something else and I was like up and vanished sounds like something that would be right up my alley because I don't know if you know this or not but I am obsessed obsessed with like murder mysteries cold cases um you know stuff like that like that is my jam like I am an investigator okay like these people that get paid that can't figure anything out no get me I can figure anything out and I have I am a self-identified FBI agent and so I'm obsessed with that stuff me and my cousin growing up we were obsessed obsessed with Jean Benet Ramsey case if you don't know anything about her go google it super interesting um and you know just disappearances like Elizabeth Smart Natalie Holloway you know I'm just like obsessed with things but cold cases really get my juices flowing and um so Up and Vanished is about a cold case in South Georgia, which y'all know I'm from Atlanta, um, South Georgia, and it's like this young, hip teacher, and like the last time anybody saw her was like Friday night, and then Monday she doesn't show up for school, and <gasps> she's gone. She's gone. Nobody's heard from her. Nobody's seen from her. They don't know what's going on, and this guy from Atlanta who's a filmmaker, um, after 10 years of the case, um, it's been cold for like 10 years or they've been investigating for 10 years I don't know but he decided to try to figure out who did it and I am living for this podcast so if you need something to listen to up and banish has got you it's good I'm about to turn it on and listen to some of it and uh, yeah headed to Duncan and headed to work so I'll check in later What are you doing? I'm checking my emails. Why? Nobody's emailing yeah, you. Yeah, my professor emailed me earlier and was like, hi, we've missed you from class. What, what have you been doing? Not going to class? No, I turned in all my stuff and I emailed him back and I was like, hey, I've turned in everything up to date. He said, this was supposed to go to another student. I'm very sorry. That's very strange. It's very strange that I sent it to Adam when it wasn't supposed to go to Adam. No, Maybe there's another Adam. In I had class. that happen like at least once or twice other today. People at work. He'll work all the time, send me something. I guess there's another Bates, because it goes by our last name first. And Billy send me a message all the time. So he was telling me, please come back to the LA office. We need to get some to blah, the, blah, blah, Like blah. Los Angeles? Yeah. Ooh, that could have been a fun trip. Was it that or the Louisiana office? I don't know. Oh, not fun. <laughs> Swamp people. I mean, I guess Louisiana could be fun. As my good friends Leonard Skinner used to say, Swamp, 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 swamp music. <laughs> Hopefully. We haven't, my hair is looking crazy. Holy moly. You let me leave the house like this? Okay, we haven't gone, ha, done like a date night in like a month. Yeah, it's been a little while. So we're going out tonight. We've been real busy. We have been really busy, but we're going out tonight and um, we're just going to Chick Place. So it's not going to be anything fancy because we have to get back and clean. Because Papa Bates is coming up. Yep. Tomorrow, y'all get to see Papa Bates. Yep. Again, we're gonna go have some fun. We always eat at one have place. Some fun. We always eat at one place when Papa Bates is in town. Maple Street. Maple Street Biscuit Shameless Company. Plug. Hopefully, I will be able to show you some things that we've done around the house if we can get it clean at a decent hour and I remember. So, I'll remind you. I'll remind you. I got you. I'm about to stuff my face full of Chick-fil-A chicken. I don't even like Chick-fil-A. Then we don't have to go to Chick-fil-A. I'm joking. I don't care where we go. It's just you wouldn't pick anywhere. I gave you 15 different places. <laughs> and you said no to all of them except for Chick-fil-A. I said I guess. I don't really want Chick-fil-A. Okay, then what do you want? I don't know. Don't want Mexican whatsoever. So we'll throw all the Mexican out. And you don't want any of the Chinese down there. And you don't want any burgers. If I go Chinese, you know what I want. Ooh, 
That does sound good. But I don't want to go that far away. Okay. All right. You know? I understand. Because we got stuff to do. That's true. I understand. No. It does sound good, though. And we, we, didn't, have, we didn't vlog at all with Papa Bates here. I know. Papa he, Bates just left. Yeah, he came and visited. We had a fun time. But I'm just going to show you the kitchen because we did finally finish it. So we got the backsplash is up. Yes. And we got our table finally usable. And I was going to show you these. I got these salt and pepper shakers today. Aren't they so cute? OMG. Okay, so I got these salt and pepper shakers, and they are from the, what's it called? It's whatever the chicken. Head and the hearth, or head. It's not head heart, to the heart, that's a song. Hearth and, I don't know, but it's the, from the fixer upper people. Chip and Joanna. And they're I salt. I got a cable for my in ears. They're, okay, I'm not talking about that right now. They're salt and pepper shakers, and they were like six bucks, but seriously, look how cute they are. I had a gift card. And we have our, we got our sign mm -hmm. back on the wall. Shout out to Elizabeth. And, oh yeah, I got these to get us in the um, Valentine's spirit. Also, I have some, okay, so I have this drawer under here that I keep all my, like, seasonal stuff in. So, I'm sure I have some Valentine's stuff in here, and I need to locate it. So, that's Christmas. Oh, man, this might take a minute. Okay. Found this. I got a Target last year. So I got this to hang. What happened? She muddy? Yes. Oh, she looks so angry. So let's see, I have that. I should have a candy dish. Whoop. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so here's my candy dish and the candy's gonna be dumped. Don't worry. That's a little scary. And I should have some flowers is it in here oh yep found my valentine's flowers we're in business people let me put these in here oops my valentine's flowers this candy dish that has old candy in it so the candy's hey. gonna be dumped no. but i'm gonna keep the little glittery pretties so this is Hope getting done. Conversation hearts. I should have dumped them out. That's gross. I know. They're like stuck in here, but I got them all, I think. Look, we just We're not gonna do it dirt. So this I'm gonna put on the kitchen table if I can get them all spread out. Oh my gosh, they're like conglomerate. They will not like separate. How oh, weird. Okay, anyway. So this is gonna go on the table. With my little salt and pepper shakers. Wow, that candy dish is like way too small for this new table. Finna starve to death. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna die if I don't get some food stacked. Super cute. I'm not leaving you in the microwave, don't worry. <laughs> All right, Ad, what did we do today? What did we do today? We hung out with Papa Bates. Yep, we went to Community Pie. We did. For lunch. It was super good. I tried a new pizza, the, um... What'd you get? Margarita. Yeah, Laura did get the margarita pizza. It was really good, but we filled really up good. on garlic knots before, so I only had, like, one piece. And I had a couple pieces of that. I think I had, like, three pieces of that margarita pizza, and then I had, like, one or two of Dad's. I had some garlic knots. I really picked out today. I shouldn't have picked out that hard. Went to the mall. And he got some new shoes. My dad did. Not yep. me. Yeah, not Ad. Not I'm me. Sorry. And then we went on a hike at Although Foster Falls. Although I do Falls. need some new work shoes. I know you do. We're going to work on that. Maybe you can get me those for my birthday or something. Or Valentine's Day. Hmm. No, Valentine's Day you can get me some though. Your hand feels really good. It's like super cold, but those are really good. I'm like really hot right now. We went to Foster Falls, and you can see the pictures and stuff on my Instagram. Because I posted that at Laurel Bates Vlogs. And then we went to Target and spent 
gift cards that we had to Target. Well, I spent my gift card, and that's where I, I got. I spent mine. I got the little salt shakers and the little. Um, so sound off in the comments. How if you get a gift card? Laura literally got this gift card at like Dad got oh. here like at nine. Yeah. Nine thirty, and then literally by. No, not even by new. It was before new. It was like by ten thirty. The gift card was spent. But then an hour it was spent. But it wasn't like, it wasn't like a ton of money on it. No, I mean it was ten bucks. It was ten I mean, bucks, and I got the salt and pepper shakers from Chip and Joanna. But I mean, like, and I got the literally cute that girl was like, that girl was house. like on a mission to spend that gift card. It's because we. I went in there and I looked at a few things and I was like, oh wait, I'll just go ahead and do it. Are you one of those people that's like indecisive like me, or do you like pretty much spend your gift cards? I usually wouldn't have done that, but we don't live like super close to a Target. And so I don't go that much. And so I figured since we were already up by Target and I had a gift card that I should just go ahead and spend it. So I don't forget. I don't know. I think it was, it was pretty impulsive. Well, I like what I got. What's all that? And there's CT slinging in the dog doge bed. If it'll focus. No. Oh. He's still limping a little, but he's not doing too bad. He's getting better. Yeah. He's getting some better. Love you. Are we gonna get food? Sure, where are you gonna go? I don't know, somewhere I'm hungry. What do you I'm about want? to die. I need to eat and come home and put a mask on so my pores look good for tomorrow. Okay, can we go get food? Yeah.